That horrific attack was captured on a Philadelphia subway car earlier this month. Got no play almost. And the four black teens who brutally beat that 18-year-old Asian girl are now facing ethnic intimidation charges. Police say the black teens were hurling racial slurs before they attacked the victim. Well, it's just as shocking. Perhaps the words of the city council member there, Helen Gim, who herself is Asian, she was almost explaining away the attack, saying, well, the assailants are trying to articulate out what they need to see done better by institutions, including the school district, to address racial bias, intimidation. What? Now, <laughs> the issue of race, look, the left has gotten so radical on it, they're now essentially justifying racial violence. Joining me now is Horace Cooper, Project 21 co-chair. Horace, sadly, what they're doing now, what they're saying, is entirely predictable. I am outraged upon watching the video and seeing the response of the elected officials in that community. Yes, it's true. I should have expected to see this kind of bad behavior. But unbelievably, how elected officials could say that we're going to explain away, cover up, and even reward this kind of violent behavior. We would anticipate seeing this problem all across America if this mindset was allowed to continue. Now, what's also sickening here, Horace, is that this woman, Helen Gim, attended a, the anti-Asian violence protest that was sparked out of this incident, and this was just yesterday. It is what this nation has been doing around anti-Asian violence, rhetoric that has started from the top of the, uh, uh, from the highest levels of elected office with whole elected parties generating anti-immigrant, anti-Asian rhetoric that needs to end now. So she's a Democratic council uh, member who is essentially justifying the violence as a, as a creative, uh, frustrated expression of these uh, disaffected youth. Then she was hopping on the protest on the other side, trying to cover all bases, essentially blaming Republicans. Yeah. What needs to end is excusing violent behavior. Now, there has been for a little bit of time, more than a few years, a growing problem of minorities attacking non-minorities or attacking other minorities and the media completely ignoring it. Here's what the rule needs to be. You don't hit people, you don't slap people, you don't rob people, you don't beat them down. And if you do, we don't care why, we're going to hold you accountable. That's the message that stops this from happening. And that's a message that doesn't have to come, quote, from the White House. It doesn't have to come from the outhouse or from anywhere else. It's a common sense answer. Shame on this council member who happens to be Asian, not being willing to stand up for a common sense mindset. Horace could not have said it better myself. Thank you so much. Great to see you tonight.